Look at you. <laughs> I told you you look great. <laughs> Love you. That's beautiful. You're great, but when he does that with me. You're going to use your feet. <laughs> All right. I'll be okay. See? Got it. I'm all for you. <laughs> Sorry, you got me a good body already. Right. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you too. Come here, Kayla. You can't even tell it. You're good. Yeah. Nice. I'm going to have to pick yourself up. Sorry. Right. You're ready. Reed, you are my best friend, and I cannot help but feel overwhelmed with gratitude and appreciation for having you by my side. From the moment we met, I knew my life would forever change, even for the better. You have consistently been my rock, my confidant, and my biggest supporter. You have pushed me to be the best version of myself, and you have given me the confidence that I've always been searching for. Your su support and encouragement has lifted me up in times of doubt and uncertainty, it is in these moments that I'm reminded of how lucky I am to have you. As we begin this new chapter of our lives, I promise to love and support you wholeheartedly. I promise to always cheer you on and to encourage you to be the best version of yourself. I promise to put you first and to never lose our spark. I promise to be there for you through thick and thin, sharing in both the joys and sorrows that life brings our way. I promise to help you love life, to always hold you with tenderness, and to have patience that love demands to speak when words are needed and to share silence when they are not and to live within the warmth of your heart and always call it home. As we embark on this new journey together, I'm excited to see how we continue to grow as individuals and as a couple. I cannot wait for countless adventures together and to experience all that life has to offer us. The thought of creating this life together fills me with joy and anticipation. You have shown me what true love is. With you by my side, I'm confident that we can overcome any obstacle and create a life filled with love, laughter, and endless possibilities. Let's continue to write our love story together one beautiful chapter at a time. I love you most. Dear Stephanie, you are my best friend, my anchor, my biggest supporter, and my partner till the end of time. I vow to take care of you and support you every day through thick and thin, to always love you and remind you that I love you, to always be patient and trustworthy. I will always be here for you. I am so excited to see what adventures life takes on us. Us on, sorry. Uh, you make me, you make my world go around. You are my everything. I love you to the moon and back, baby. First time I saw you, I knew you were the one, <laughs> sorry. You were the one that I would be marrying. You complete me. I knew from the first sight you were, when you were at the movie theater, that I needed to ask you to be my girlfriend. You're the most caring, gorgeous, and friendly human I've ever met. Some way, somehow, I was so determined to make you mine. From this day forward, my heart is forever yours. You complete me. Love your husband, Reed Michael Young. I love you too. Thank you.
like to tell everyone the real reason why we're here today. The real reason is because Stephanie and Reed decided they loved each other so much they wanted to get the government involved. <laughs> <sighs> we are gathered here today in the sight of God, the presence of friends and loved ones, to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. Today is a day of celebration, a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of two people whose lifelong journey starts today. Stephanie and Reed, your adventure as a married couple is about to begin. This is an opportunity for all of us to share not only in the joy and the love of this couple, but also to reaffirm and appreciate the love and the friendship we experience in our own lives. Love is the ultimate commitment that challenges us to become all that we are meant to be. Even though we describe love in different ways, and even though love can look different from one person to the next, we all know it when we see it. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being told, you're too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is standing together and facing the world. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful, and it's not only marrying the right person, it's being the right partner. Marriage is a gift from God given to us so we might experience the joys of unconditional love with a lifelong partner. Stephanie and Reed, we ask that you treat yourselves and each other with respect. Remind yourselves often of what brought you here today. When frustration and difficulty assail your marriage, as they do in every relationship at one time or another, focus on what still seems right for both of you, not only the part that seems wrong. This way, when clouds of trouble hide the sun in your eye, in your lives, and you lose sight of it for a moment, you can remember that the sun is still there. And if each of you will take responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and happiness. I also want to say that love is, isn't always perfect. It isn't a fairy, fairy tale or a storybook. It doesn't always come easy. Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, fighting to be together, holding on and never letting go. Love is work, but most of all, love is realizing that every hour, every minute, every second was worth it because you did it together. Today, Stephanie and Reed have decided to braid three strands into a single cord. Each strand, oh, I'm sorry, let me do that. I forgot about that part. Can I ask everybody to sit during this part so everybody can see? Each strand has a significant meaning. One strand represents God and His majesty. One strand represents the groom and his life. One strand represents the bride and her life. In braiding these three strands together, Stephanie and Reed have demonstrated that their marriage is more than joining of two lives together. It is a unity with God as well. They have chosen to allow God to be the center of their marriage, woven into every aspect of it. They're doing a good job. As the Bible reads, two are better than one because they have good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend can pick him up, but pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend together. A cord of three strands is not easily broken. Good job. Stephanie and Reed have decided to uh, share their personal written vows in private earlier today, but are going, I'm going to ask them to reaffirm their vows of marriage. Dear Reed, take Stephanie to be your lawfully wedded wife, 
your constant friend and partner in all your adventures that life has in store for you? If so, say I do. I do. Stephanie, do you take Reed to be your lawfully wedded husband, your constant friend and partner in the adventures that life has in store for you? If so, say I do. I do. Oops, sorry about that. Can we come to the presentation of the rings. Oh, he can't wait to put it on her. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. The ring is a symbolization and bind of your love. The circle that has long been a symbol of spirit and the power of God. Without beginning or end, with no point of weakness, the circle is a symbol of your endless love and undying faithfulness. Your rings are most special because they say that even in your uniqueness, you have chosen to be bonded, to allow the presence of another human being to enhance who you are. Your rings carry a message. We are individuals, yet we belong. We are not alone. As you wear them through time, let them reflect not only in who you are, but also the glorious union that you have now created. It's a symbol in the vows that Stephanie and Reed have made to one another. We ask God to bless these rings, for whoever wears them will remember the promise they made to each other. They have their rings to share. We're going to exchange. I'm going to ask each of you to repeat after me. Read, place the ring on Stephanie's finger and say, I read, take, read. take this Stephanie to be my wife. I read, take thee Stephanie to be my wife. To have and to hold this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or worse, richer and poorer. For better, for worse, richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Is it on there? It's on there. <laughs> Stephanie, I want you to repeat after me. I take thee, Reed, to be my husband. I take thee, Reed, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. We ask today. It's sweaty. It's hot out. <laughs> we ask today for the blessing of these rings that have given and received, and may the two who wear them ever abide with their love for each other, living together in unity, love and happiness forevermore. By the authority vested me by the law, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Reed, you may kiss your bride. Stephanie's person, so I'm asking <laughs> on that torch for her now. 
get all the good grades and out of these hands. <laughs> so we welcome you to our family. I'll try to keep it together here. Um, it, it's a little overwhelming. When we, here we go. <laughs> wow. I, I think it was the gummy. I don't know. You want me to talk? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> it's just a great day for us um, when your son. <laughs> your baby son. <laughs> Uh, all you want as a parent is your, your kids to be happy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, um, to know that he's happy and that he met the love of his life and 
We get to see them on a regular basis, and the two of them together really were, I think, made to be. So congratulations to you both. Um, and we do. And just a quick shout out. I, I want to thank you all guys for coming and um, all our old friends. And you had parts uh, of Raising Reed in a lot of ways, whether he was with your kids at their house, getting in trouble, <laughs> or, um, or even as little, little kids. Um, and, uh, yeah, and all his baseball and softball buddies. It's it's awesome that you guys are here. I know he really appreciates your support. And then just lastly, I wanted to. I'll, this might be tough too, but my I better stop. I don't know. Uh, my mom and dad were not able to be here, and I know they would. They would both want to be here. Um, they were huge parts of yours and all your cousins' lives, and so he he just they both set such great examples for you and for us and your cousins and stuff. So, uh, sorry, I, that was tough. Here's the Stephanie. I was about to say, don't expect, I mean, the waterworks are going to be the exact same, so uh, just warning everybody. Okay, um, I'm Jake, Reed's older brother. Um, first off, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, first off, I just wanted to thank everybody uh, for coming today and celebrating these two people that I care so, so much about. Um, I'm so grateful and my heart is so full of joy uh, to see so many people that I love and care for uh, supporting these two people. Um, I'm beyond honored to have been chosen as Reed's best man. Um, as his older brother, I have had a front row seat um, to see Reed's journey unfold uh, from the cutest little baby that you've ever seen um, into such a kind, compassionate young man. Um, for those of you that maybe did not know Reed in his younger days, um, Reed was, uh, for the lack of a better term, a bit of a little shit. Um, <laughs> that, paired with the childhood friendship with our cousin Dylan, uh, made for two demons. Some people said that they sprouted horns when they were together, so I do not wish that on anybody else, but my parents and Auntie Missy had to put up with all of that stuff. Grandma and Grandpa as well, yes. Um, but as your older brother, I've always tried to model who I would want you to become. And I'm, it is such an honor to see you um, and who you are becoming as a young man. Um, and there's been so many good times. I mean, just thinking of a couple watching your growth through baseball and basketball, saying, go Rito, or let's go Deuces. Even watching you today playing softball has been such a great thing. Playing video games to each other and both becoming rage monsters together is uh, maybe not the best thing, but it's the truth. Um, watching movies like Benchwarmers, Austin Powers, The Love Guru, and reciting them together on the way to the cabin, and just generally hanging out and uh, sharing our loves for sports, music, and being goofy, um, we have, have so many amazing memories with you, Reed. Even the small moments um, have meant so much. Um, but as a young person does in today's world, um, there's also plenty of adversity that Reed has had to go through, whether it be breaking your collarbone in the front yard playing football. I think one of these guys over here was part of that as well. Um, or maybe it was being a part of an education system that didn't properly accommodate you running into a fence post just very recently. Um, I've seen you persevere through the toughest of times with a smile on your face, um, 
and it's one of my greatest points of pride of your, as your older brother um, to see you blossom into such a hardworking, independent, fun-loving young man. Um, but as your brother and son of Mark and Char, we are young boys, um, we at times need a little bit of a push to achieve what we need to achieve and be to where we need to be. And I know yourself, mom and dad, probably had a part in that, into pushing you who do you need to be, but I also know that came from the appearance of somebody else into his life. Um, as I've gotten older, um, I've realized that the most lasting and truly amazing bonds come from couples that bring out the best versions of their partner and push each other to achieve what they are capable of. And after seeing that, or the man that Reed has been evolving into over these last couple years, it does perfectly correspond with Stephanie coming into his life. Um, and at first, I didn't know much about Stephanie. So for a while, I knew that Reed was going to visit a girl on the weekends, but I knew that if he was going, traveling two hours to go and see her, rain or shine, snow or shine, I guess I should say, um, I knew that she was so very special. Um, and fast forward a couple years later, I still remember the day when um, Reed came home and told me that he was going to propose. Um, not only was I so very happy to know that my little brother was going to be getting married, but also the shock and awe of being the older brother that was being beaten to the altar by his younger brother. <laughs> uh, high school Jake would have been like, you're, you're, you're fucking joking, right? There's no way. <laughs> but it's true. Um, and as I said before, the best, most lasting bonds come from couples who bring out the best in each other. And after seeing you two grow together, I can say with 100% certainty, you are both unlocking each other's full potential. Um, and I got some parting words. Um, as many of you know, I'm a social studies teacher. Um, so one of my favorite quotes is, those who do not learn history are doomed to repeat it. Um, and obviously, there's not a textbook that you can look into to learn about how to be a, pro or how to be a good uh, partner and how to have a great relationship. But for what it means in a relationship is to constantly be learning from, e or from each other, always seeking to better yourself and grow from each other, um, and to build on the things that you love, but to change the things that, are, that need to be changed. Um, learn from the relationships in your life. I know we have had such a pleasure, and you are very spoiled to have two parents who have such a wonderful relationship, two grandparents who are here, as well as my other grandparents who are not here, absolutely incredible, as well as friends and relatives, Take from those relationships the things that you love, the things that you remember loving about those relationships, but change the things that you don't like and make it something that is uniquely Reed and Stephanie. Um, never stop learning from each other. Always listen before you respond. Um, and never stop fighting for the love that you two share because it is so, so rare in today's world. Um, so lastly, Reed, I love you so much. I'm so proud of who you are becoming. Um, and I can't wait to see where you continue to grow to because I think you have so much potential. And Stephanie, you not only are so loved by Reed, but on behalf of myself, my parents, and the rest of my family, we love you so much. And we are indebted to the things that you have done for Reed. Um, and I just wish you the best for the future and for things to come. So I want to raise a toast. Um, to growth and everlasting love to Reed and Stephanie. Cheers. Finally, we will hear from the maid of honor. Everyone, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Kayla. And I am Stephanie's best friend of 17 years. We met in the fourth grade right here in Shakopee at Eagle Creek. And we instantly bonded and started meeting up in the field that separated our two houses. We practically became inseparable. We were up for movie marathons, valley fair days, night walks, and pretty much anything else you could get up to as teenage girls. I'm sure there were times where her wonderful parents, Lonnie and Kent, thought, oh my god, this girl is moving in with us forever. <laughs> As we got older and our lives got crazier, Stephanie and I stuck by each other's sides. 
even when I made her listen to my crazy music on full volume with all the windows down in my car driving down the road. But that's one of my favorite things about Stephanie is that she is so dependable, even if you're across the state or just across the field. Stephanie, you are brilliant, you are hardworking, gentle, so kind, and absolutely stunning tonight. I could not be happier that you and Reed found each other. I see how he not only supports you, but also encourages you to reach your goals. Reed, you treat Stephanie like gold, and I'm so happy because I would accept nothing less. Reed, you are resilient, authentic, and strong. And I'm so excited to see how you bring those qualities into your marriage with Steph. It's easy to see how these two are perfect for each other. And I'm so honored to be a part of a day as special as this. It's not often that we get to celebrate a love as genuine as yours. And while I might not be the one to watch Lord of the Rings with you or Disney movies every single weekend anymore, I'm so glad that you have a best friend with you now to do that. Um, as I wrap things up, I wanted to share a quote from the bride's favorite movie franchise, Disney, of course. Can you feel the love tonight? You needn't look too far. Stealing through the night's uncertainties, love is where they are. Congrats to you both. Thank you.
to invite Reed.